hello everyone so in this video we will explore how to set up a kafka in our windows machine so kafka is a is used for real time streaming data processing so uh, by recording this video i am using 3.6 version of kafka you have two version source or binary i would say use binary because source need to be compiled so it's better that you have to use binary because it's already pre-compiled the data so let me download the file the file is downloaded in my folder let me open the folder okay once you have the file zip file you need to extract it in your required folder in your required directory so let me copy it in my extract to where I want to copy it it's up to you as well you can name any directory name folder name file name let say in my case i am going to use kafka 36 because i have already installed two or three times kafka so for the demonstration purpose i am going to set up one more time for you 361 i think this name is fine okay let me extract okay so in c361 folder is created so we have a bin folder and under this is if we under bin folder we have windows folder and for windows we need to use this folder or the we need to run command from windows folder so first we need to have two files server or zookeeper we need to change our log directory actually here here we have log directory because now our root is like c kafka 361 so we need to set this path actually okay so going back to our folder i'm going to copy it here and backslash convert it to forward slash c forward slash kafka 361 slash kafka log okay so this is my path and save this file kafka log okay let me save this file now next file is okay i'm going to kafka log folder as well because this is not created so kafka log file is created folder is created i'm sorry for that but now i'm going to create zookeeper and in zookeeper data directory i need to again use kafka 361 and let me change it here first okay save this file and create a zookeeper folder okay so our zookeeper folder is set so first step is done we have created kafka log file and zookeeper for log files and similarly we update our server and zookeeper config files now the second step is we need to check do we have a java because java is mandatory to run our kafka jobs or services okay let me check my version of java yeah java have java 19.02 i think it's okay because we have a latest version but this version is satisfy okay let me clear the screen now i am now i am going to use kafka 361 folder okay now i need to go bin under bin i have to go windows folder because we are in windows system so i need to run windows command from this 
directory so this is my command first i need to start zookeeper keep in mind that zookeeper server start dot patch file is available here okay and config slash zookeeper file is also so let me copy this okay if we start you can see that zookeeper start if we run with a start which means we are going to open a new window if we can run this command without a start it will not open a new window so you can see the new windows open so let me wait for it and let's see if this is there is an error or not if not then we are okay zookeeper is start zookeeper is first second step we need to start zookeeper and after that we need to start our kafka server okay so this is our prerequisite requirement and similarly you can uh, find the quick start and here you can find the command and this is a command we are going to run this is a asset for unix or other os but we are using batch file for our windows so localhost 1992 is port where we have to create our topic topics is nothing like a table okay so if zookeeper is running server is running now we need to create our topic Keep in mind that topic is nothing than uh, like a table. You treat like a table and table has multiple records. So we are going to create topic, topic name in test and local is 1992. By default it create. If you want to change, you can go in config file, server.config file, you can change it. So create topic test is created successfully. Now we need to use our if we want to delete we can delete but in this uh, we don't need to delete because we just create it now we need to create our producer here producer is a agent who actually sends the data okay so let me let me copy this command again it's not copying on my clipboard let me paste it here so if you see uh, this sign which means we are connected with and ready for sending message now consumer is a agent who will receive a message okay so let me open another window and here I'm going to paste this command oops Okay, I'm going to cd bin and now pasting this command. So, my producer is ready and consumer is ready. Consumer is ready to receive a message, producer is ready to send a message. Let me send a test message. Hello. You can see hello is there on the this window. Now type a bigger message for testing. So this is a way you can send or receive a streaming or real-time data. So you can see once I click enter, it will send a, receive a message on a producer's on a consumer side. So I hope you like this video and have a fun 